PADIC Analysis, Wikipedia Article Audio In mathematics, PADIC analysis is a branch of number theory that deals with the mathematical analysis of functions of PADIC numbers. Important Results Ostrowski's Theorem Mahler's Theorem Hensel's Lemma Applications PADIC Quantum Mechanics Local Global Principle The theory of complex-valued numerical functions on the PADIC numbers is part of the theory of locally compact groups. The usual meaning taken for PADIC analysis is the theory of PADIC-valued functions on spaces of interest. Applications of PADIC analysis have mainly been in number theory, where it has a significant role in Diophantin geometry and Diophantin approximation. Some applications have required the development of PADIC functional analysis and spectral theory. In many ways PADIC analysis is less subtle than classical analysis, since the ultrametric inequality means, for example, that convergence of infinite series of PADIC numbers is much simpler. Topological vector spaces over PADIC fields show distinctive features, for example aspects relating to convexity and the hahn banach theorem are different. Ostrowski's theorem, due to Alexander Ostrowski, states that every non-trivial absolute value on the rational numbers Q is equivalent to either the usual real absolute value or a PADIC absolute value. Mahler's theorem, introduced by Kurt Mahler, expresses continuous PADIC functions in terms of polynomials. In any field, one has the following result. Let be the forward difference operator. Then for polynomial functions f we have the Newton series. Where is the kth binomial coefficient polynomial? Over the field of real numbers, the assumption that the function f is a polynomial can be weakened but it cannot be weakened all the way down to mere continuity. Mahler proved the following result. Mahler's theorem, if f is a continuous PADIC-valued function on the PADIC integers then the same identity holds. Hensel's lemma, also known as Hensel's lifting lemma, named after Kurt Hensel, is a result in modular arithmetic stating that if a polynomial equation has a simple root modulo a prime number p, then this root corresponds to a unique root of the same equation modulo any higher power of p, which can be found by iteratively lifting the solution modulo successive powers of p. More generally it is used as a generic name for analogs for complete commutative rings of the Newton method for solving equations. Since PADIC analysis is in some ways simpler than real analysis, there are relatively easy criteria guaranteeing a root of a polynomial. To state the result, let f x be a polynomial with integer coefficients, and let m k be positive integers such that m less than or equal to k. If r is an integer such that then there exists an integer s such that. Furthermore, this s is unique modulo p, k and m, and can be computed explicitly as. PADIC quantum mechanics is a relatively recent approach to understanding the nature of fundamental physics. It is the application of PADIC analysis to quantum mechanics. The PADIC numbers are a counterintuitive arithmetic system that was discovered by the German mathematician Kurt Hensel in about 1899. The closely related Adels and Idels were introduced in the 1930s by Claude Chevalier and André Vey. 
their study has now transformed into a major branch of mathematics. They were occasionally applied to the physical sciences, but it wasn't until a publication by the Russian mathematician Volovish in 1987 that the subject was taken seriously in the physics world. There are now hundreds of research articles on the subject, along with international journals as well. There are two main approaches to the subject. The first considers particles in a PADIC potential well, and the goal is to find solutions with smoothly varying complex valued wave functions. Here the solutions to have a certain amount of familiarity from ordinary life. The second considers particles in PADIC potential wells, and the goal is to find PADIC valued wave functions. In this case, the physical interpretation is more difficult. Yet the math often exhibits striking characteristics, therefore people continue to explore it. The situation was summed up in 2005 by one scientist as follows, I simply cannot think of all this as a sequence of amusing accidents and dismiss it as a toy model. I think more work on this is both needed and worthwhile. Helmut Hass's local global principle also known as the Haas principle, is the idea that one can find an integer solution to an equation by using the Chinese remainder theorem to piece together solutions modulo powers of each different prime number. This is handled by examining the equation in the completions of the rational numbers, the real numbers and the PADIC numbers. A more formal version of the Haas principle states that certain types of equations have a rational solution if and only if they have a solution in the real numbers and in the PADIC numbers for each prime P.